thought I'd give you a little uh, tour of my NPC village and zombie XP factory just below my house in the mine I use redstone to kind of show the best ways to go zombie factory what I've done is I could never find any village to trade with not close anyway so I figured that if I could rescue enough NPC zombies and create a village put a double gate here you know please keep gates closed and underground here I've got an NPC village with four likable guys and I created a, an iron golem to protect them just for fun I tried to make a blacksmith shop according to specs but I haven't been able to get anything produced in the blacksmith box yet oops there I got the door closed I made a NPC fountain for them made a garden made two extra houses and they seem to be happy because they they don't want to leave anymore before I used to have to keep these gates okay this is my zombie uh, factory and what I found was a zombie spawner and I encased it in uh, brick you can kind of hear them making noises in there and I have a chest full of cheap swords so you don't have to waste your good swords on them and what I did I put a, a, a piston arrangement that allows me to uh, rescue the NPC zombies now this is the standard there's three pistons and what I used was right in the middle of course I had my zombie spawner but instead of seven and letting the water run out I only made the chamber six blocks long and then I dropped down one and I put the three pistons here and then I put an additional piston here now all of these pistons whack at the zombies to weaken them so all you have to do is hit them with a sword one or two times to get your XP points and then I put these out of sync in other words there's my clock and it comes around to this side and then there's a uh, an ore lock and then this one is out of sync so when I turn this on you'll see one piston goes and then the other piston goes now I'm smashing a bunch of zombies so I better go over here and then the four pistons just beat them kind of bad whoops I'm gonna get another sword here there's one with armor. Pistons, kind of, all you got to do is hit them once, and then you get credit for the kill. Now, if you want to save a zombie, the, the water stops here at this fence. And then you, I'm going to let a zombie come down and show you what happens to, if you want to rescue one. This isn't an NPR zombie. Maybe he is, I don't know. Hard to tell. I'll turn the piston off. Now that's a zombie that's trapped. Actually, there's two of them in there. Okay, that zombie is trapped. So I can go over to this door, and that piston opens up and stops the water. So now I can I can rescue this zombie by throwing weakness potion on him, and then I give him a golden apple, and he shakes and wiggles for a while. And finally comes out as a uh, as an NPC villager. This isn't an NPC zombie, so I'll just get rid of him. Anyway, so here's my zombie trap with my side door. Also, if you'll notice that piston down there, it shuts off the water supply. For some reason, I couldn't get the NPC zombies to turn back into NPCs when they were standing in water. So this door, this piston, opens the door and stops the water. And we just get back to killing zombies. Uh, 
Zombies don't get stuck with this six block, six block thing. They just automatically come down. Yeah. That's enough zombie killing. Well, anyway, hope you might enjoy this. That's it.